Hello, all you bright lights. Well, there is so much light on the planet right now, and we're getting ready to come up to summer solstice here in the Northern Hemisphere, here in Nashville. And it is hot outside, but the most amazing, gorgeous thunderstorm came through this morning, and the, the sky filled up with lightning. There was a big, just a big roar of thunder. If you're in Nashville, let me know if you heard it. And um, I always feel like, Thunderstorms are kind of mile markers, and especially when that wind comes through and it's just like change is in the air. And I also always feel that whenever the solstice comes through, the equinox come through, it's like a time to be a mile marker in our lives to kind of assess where am I at? Where have I been? Where am I going? And most importantly, like where am I right now in my own alignment with the divine? And for me, I often use these dates, these times as a potent meditation experience. So I will set aside a little extra time to go inward and really speak with spirit, speak with my higher self, speak with my soul collective, and just check in like, where do I want to put my intention next? Well, collectively within our little community here i want to put our intention on slowing down because we're in the heat of the seasons and so moving slower you know i speak with a lot of people in martial arts and then a little bit myself and one of the things that i know is that when i slow down the power of my energy is amplified and so in the summer, in the heat, when we're in a heat season, we can amplify our energy by slowing down. Not only does it keep us a little cooler, but it makes the energy in our bodies and in our intentions just grow, grow, grow. So it's also a, uh, a very pleasurable practice because when we slow down and we tune into our senses and we're more aware of what's surrounding us and and receiving that which we want to receive in our environment it it's just like life is um, it's like tapped into higher senses so if you ever use tuning forks we use them around here a lot you know tap that against your hand and you can just listen and if the room's noisy, you don't hear it. But when you put all your attention onto the tuning fork and you can hear that frequency, it becomes not only something that you experience with your, uh, with your ears, but you can feel it in your hand. And I often can like feel the vibration on my cheek, just these like subtle things that are so much more interesting. It, pleasure pleasure when we amplify the pleasure of our experiences through slowing down uh, in our circle last night we talked about the ways that we slow down and enjoy life more and one of the things that I shared that I love is to take something that I would normally experience like as sound and try to also experience another version of it like how does that sound look how does that taste sound like to mix it up there's a name for it whenever you experience a multi-sensory uh, experience of any one sense that you would think of as only being like that one thing and then it amplifies and instead it's multiple multiple variations of smelling something or seeing something and I do believe that as we continue to turn on all of our multi-dimensional reality that becomes more and more accessible and I know that so many of you that come around the Divine Life Playhouse and are part of the things that we do here experience that so our slowdown challenge let me tell you about it we are taking from now until August 15th to join together as a group and experience a slow meditation practice living meditation so not just sitting on the cushion and clearing our mind but taking some time every day to slow down in the moment that we're in just in everyday life 
practical living meditation, weaving it more and more into our daily being, not just when we're on the cushion, but when we're living our lives and when we're connected to the world around us, because we are all so connected. Yes, we're one. And so to experience more of that, I mean, it creates that really yummy oneness, right? Then we can also keep our sovereign individual experience. And I might show up to an experience and receive it one way and somebody else will show up and receive it another way. But we can all experience it more deeply if we slow down and we dive into the experience more fully. And that can be an hour or it can just be five minutes, but a living meditation practice. If you'd like to join us, if you wanna be uh, a part of a small group that's dedicating two months to that, then just send me a message. We'll add you to the group and we'll just create a little synergy and inspire one another with how we are experiencing the living meditation of slowing down. I can't wait. I always get so much out of hearing the things that you all share and um, it inspires me to practice slowing down in a new way whenever you tell me about how you slow down for the day and it's just leaving a one you know one minute or less just a little note about you know how you're experiencing it and you don't have to do it every single day but like i like to put a little reminder on my phone or on my calendar and um just check in in that moment you know but we'll create some synergy in the group. We'll share our experiences. And um, throughout the rest of the summer here, we're also gonna be uh, slowing down together and just really enjoying the pleasure of being alive in these beautiful bodies that we have for a little while. And um, I'm gonna be gone to Greece for the next two weeks. I'm gonna go refill my tank and come back with so much love and energy to share uh, even more in this, the rest of this year. Um, so I'm planning on slowing down a lot there. Um, life goes fast, naturally, all around us, but we get the opportunity to choose to slow down. And it can be five minutes. It can be, you know, an entire afternoon that you devote to it. But uh, as we do it together, we kind of help each other remember, hey, this is something that I want to weave into my being. And, you know, we've done uh, gratitude and intention challenge and that's become a part of my everyday life um, the heart frequency meditation challenge oh that was a good one that's something that I am incorporating into my life now the slowing down and these are keep building so that we're not just meditating on a cushion even though that's so beautiful but we're like living this living meditation it's a part of who we are so I hope to see you in the group and if not in the group, I hope to see you here at the Divine Playhouse. So many good things are happening and I want to slow down and enjoy them. And I hope that whatever you're up to this summer, that you are enjoying it as deeply as possible. The full spectrum of living, the connection that we all share. And from my heart to yours, I can't wait to see you real soon. Lots of love. Mwah. Summer is a time to slow down and enjoy the beauty of what's right in front of us in this very moment. This is living meditation, awareness, presence, letting our senses enjoy the simple and slow things to smell the flowers, to experience things more deeply. Our challenge this summer, our living meditation challenge, is a daily slowdown practice, even if just for a few moments, slowing down and taking it all in. Will you join us in living meditation?